Okay, in this video we're going to look at household bills which will probably come up in Unit 2 um, in your Year 11 GCSE exams. Okay, there's three or four parts to this question. First thing we need to do is we need to look at these numbers here. Generally in these questions there will be a present reading and a previous reading. We need to take these away. Okay, it might be worded slightly differently in some questions but you always take the smaller one away from the bigger one. Okay, so in this question, because we've got calculators, you take those two numbers away and you should get 1,847 units. So these are the units that have been used in the last quarter, month, whatever the question's about. Okay, the next part of the question is here. And it tells you that the charge per unit, the charge for each unit that you used, or Mr. and Mrs. Davis in this case, was just a little bit more than seven pence. Now, this is in pence. You need to change it to pounds. So, 7.08 pence. Change to pounds, so divide by 100. If you can't do that in your head, use your calculator. So that's 0 0.07 zero eight don't do any rounding it looks funny it's not the way we'd normally write money going to four decimal places but you do not round okay so every unit costs this amount of money so we need to multiply these two things together zero point zero seven zero eight do that in your calculator and you'll get one hundred and thirty point seven six seven six Okay, right, next step. Now, the reason we had to change that to pounds is because the next step is the service charge. So, this could be like your monthly uh, charge on a phone or line rental on a landline. Okay, so this is the charge for um, the electricity service. But it will always be in pounds. They will always try and catch you out. Ones and pence, ones and pounds. So, always change it to pounds. So, we've now got to add 12 point three four I am not going to do any rounding yet okay add those two two things together on your calculator you get 143 pounds uh, point one zero seven six again haven't rounded anything yet okay now last part of these questions will always be to add a percentage VAT and on fuel it's five percent well, in this question, it's 5%. So we've got to add 5%. We've got our calculator. Let's use a multiplier to do it quickly. So we want to multiply this amount by 5%. But I want to add it on. So let's do it in one step. 1.05. That will add 5% to the original amount. Do that. I'm going to write my answer just up here. Because I'm running out of room. And I get 150 point two six two nine and just write squeeze in eight right leave that as your final answer you'll lose a mark because that's obviously not a bill that someone would ever get it's got too many decimal places so you need to make sure you round to two decimal places so your final answer should have been 120 or sorry 150 pounds and 26 pence rounded to two decimal places okay right exactly the same thing so you do a takeaway up here you change the charge per unit that you use into pounds service charge added on then multiply by 1.05 to get the VAT and remember to round your two decimal places at the end right have a go at the next question and then my answer will appear okay here's the next question press pause in the video have a go at yourself and then my answer will come up. Okay, here's the answer to this one. Okay, do the takeaway. We've got 1,446 units used. Multiply by the price per unit, but it's been changed to pounds. Okay, so you're multiplying by it there. That, this is then the cost. Add the service charge. Multiply by 1.05 to add 5% and then make sure you round to two, sorry, to 
two decimal places. Okay, final answer. Make sure your final answer is obvious. Show as much work out as possible as you can in this question. Okay, there's a lot of marks for method. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this one's slightly different. Okay, this time you're told the number of units that's actually been used, and the service charge is slightly different. This one's you're told how many days and then what the cost is per day. Okay, have a go at this one, and then my answer will appear in a few seconds. So press pause. Okay, here's the answer to this one. So in this one, I changed. First thing I did was change the pence to pounds for both charges. The number of units used, 189, multiplied by the price for each one, get you that. 91 days, it was charged for uh, that amount per day, get you that. We need to add those two amounts together then to get the total cost, which gets us this. We need to add the VAT, which gets us this. Got to then make sure it's two decimal places to get my final mark. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, have a go at this one. Layout is slightly different, but you do exactly the same work out. Press pause. My answer will appear in a few seconds. Okay, here's the answer for this one. Only slight difference is here, this bit, I just multiply by 1.05 to go straight to the charge, including VAT. Right, I'm going to try another one now. Which is slightly different. Okay, before you have a go at this one, let's just explain a couple of the terms that are on here. It's exactly the same as the last question. Okay, so you know the things to be careful of. This is in pence. Okay, make sure you find the VAT. She's got this balance in the previous quarter, so that's money that she owes, so that needs to be added onto her final bill. But what's different is this bit. She's got some payments received, so she pays money every month. So this is stuff that has to come off her bill, her credits. So you need to add them up and take away from whatever you find is the cost of her bill for the three months, four months. Okay? Press pause and have a go at the question, and my answers will appear. Okay, here we go. There's the answer to this question. Okay, so with these questions, you've got to remember... Just a few things. Right. Take your meter readings away from each other. Remember, this will probably be given in pence. Multiplied by the pound version of it because the quarterly charge isn't always in pounds. Okay. Add your VAT. Normally it's best to do that by multiplying by 1.05. Okay. Get your total. And what's happened in the last couple of years is they've added this bit in some payments so you then have to take that away from the total amount to pay.